Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. I am doing an 80s look because this is an 80s themed video and I did a side pony. I was going to crimp my hair, but I don't really have a lot of hair for crimping, so I thought this would do. And um, it's starting to fall out there. Let me clip it back higher. There we go. And I love it because it kind of reminds me of Charo a little bit, but not so much on the side. But anyway, so I have this obnoxious blush on, some bad, just bad, bad makeup, bad makeup for the 80s. And I wrote some notes and I wrote them really big so I wouldn't have to put glasses on to ruin the 80s vibe. I mean, not that people didn't wear glasses in the 80s, but you know, I got the eyes done. So, um, I didn't wear my, my, my makeup like this back then. I just uh, wore black eyeliner and a light colored lipstick. I didn't, um, I didn't really put this much effort into it, if you can call this effort. Okay, so um, we're going to revisit the 80s movies and music, and we're just going to talk about my favorites for a little bit, or I'm going to tell you what my favorites are. So the first one is my favorite 80s music video. Super simple for me. It's Tom Petty's don't come around here no more. I love that video. Alice in Wonderland theme. It's very creepy, very disturbing to me. I don't know if other people look at it that way, but I do. I, I find it very unnerving and uh, I love it. And I love Tom Petty. So, um, Favorite 80s rock band. Um, I would say ACDC and The Pretenders. Um, I kind of like Def Leppard, but not as much as I liked ACDC and The Pretenders. Oh, and a Blondie. I liked Blondie a lot. They were a man. Deborah Harry was the lady. Everybody thinks she was Blondie, but Blondie was the band. Um, her with the band. Um, favorite 80s new wave band. Um, loved Duran Duran so much. So, so much. Had my, my bedroom walls wallpapered. Um, Depeche Mode. I really liked their music. Um, don't really know what they looked like, but I liked their music. And Devo. I liked Devo quite a bit. Um, favorite 80s alternative bands. The Cure. I loved The Cure. Uh, um, oh, I don't. Uh, the Smiths. I like The Smiths, but The Cure. I still love The Cure to this day. Um, uh, favorite 80s solo male singer. I would say Prince... Michael Jackson, um, that's all I can really think of. Um, favorite 80s solo female performer or female singer, Pat Benatar. Loved Pat Benatar. Um, I like Joan Jett too, but Pat Benatar was my number one. Um, next, my favorite 80s movie. Um, so many of them. E.T., The Lost Boys, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, The Evil Dead, <laughs> Flashdance, The Outsiders, Beetlejuice. I have so many favorite movies from the 80s. Um, favorite 80s scary movie. Okay, uh, I'm not going to include any sequels, um, just straight up the first. Sorry, got interrupted by an alarm. Sorry about that. Um, so favorite 80s scary movie, uh, like I said, I'm not including like sequels. So, uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street, The Lost Boys, they were on my last list too. Uh, The Shining, The Evil Dead, um, what else? Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Friday the 13th. <sighs> Let me turn this. Child's Play, Children of the Corn. So many favorite scary movies. Silver Bullet. Did I say The Shining? Yeah. I I loved eight I love 80s horror, you know. Um, favorite 80s concert you went to? That would be Heart. I went to see Heart. Um Autograph opened up for them. And uh I loved that uh that concert and um I also went to see Rat, and Bon Jovi opened up for Rat, and um, I like that too. Who else did I see? I saw Huey Lewis in the News in 1984. Um, 
that was pretty fun. Um, I didn't really go to a whole lot of concerts. Went to a couple, not, not many though. Um, I went to see Alabama too. I liked that. Um, but I wouldn't say that was my best concert. I'm still going with heart for the best concert I've seen in the, I saw in the eighties. I didn't really start going to many concerts until after I met Eric. Like our second date was to go see Soundgarden and Reverend Horton Heat at the edge in Orlando. That was quite an experience. And it was so weird because I'd never, I, I dated, but I didn't really have boyfriends. Like I would date and then be like over the guy pretty quickly. And um, so Eric was like my first boyfriend. At this point, he wasn't my boyfriend. We were just dating and we, um, our first date was McDonald's and mini golf. And then our second date was to go, go to Orlando to see Soundgarden and Reverend Horton Heat. So I was like blown away that he actually took me somewhere and we did stuff and it was really fun. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was my first concert I've been to where there was like moshing and I saw all these guys with bloody faces and stuff and I'm like, why would, why would they do that to themselves? I don't understand. And um, Eric also took me, he took me to see Nine Inch Nails. Uh, Marilyn Manson opened up for him. That was my introduction to Marilyn Manson. He's taken me to see Bob Dylan a couple times. Ah. <laughs> my wig hair is getting in my mouth. Um, yeah, Eric take me, took me to a lot of concerts, but that wasn't in the 80s. That started in the 90s. And uh, if I do a 90s edition of this, we'll include them. But... Uh, I probably won't do a 90s edition because it, the 90s don't really stand out to me except for that is when I met Eric. That's when we got married. That's when I had Marshall. Um, and those were my focuses, I guess. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, I could sit here and name 80s, 80s horror movies all day long and tell you what I loved. I also loved Sleepaway Camp and... Um, I didn't include like dramas or romantic comedies or things like that on the list because I wasn't really into movies like that. I mean, I like Steel Magnolias a lot, but it would have been better if it was a slasher, you know, Steel <laughs> Magnolias, something like that. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember a time in my life when I didn't love horror. I remember being a little girl in the 70s and... Um, I realize this is what was going on now, but I didn't then. My parents were, their marriage was over. They weren't divorced yet. And my mom would sleep in my room with me and uh, she would watch, she had a little TV in my room and she would watch scary movies late at night. And um, I would lay there and I would wake up and cause she would sleep with her head on one end and I would sleep usually with my head on her legs. It was just how I liked to sleep. And um, she would, watch scary like old scary movies from the 50s and 60s and I just lay there and watch them she wasn't even aware that I was awake but I was taking it all in and loving it and um and yeah they scared the hell out of me but I watched them every time and I couldn't tell my mom I was watching them because then I was afraid she would stop sleeping in my room and I wouldn't be able to watch the movies anymore <laughs> um and uh I remember seeing the trailer for, uh, we called them previews, for the movie Magic. That was so creepy, <laughs> so creepy. Um, and, and then me and my dad, like every Saturday, all through the 70s and 80s, there were always these horror host, horror movie thons, and um, I would watch those with my dad all the time. I've always, always loved horror. I can't think of a time in my life when that wasn't like, like, yeah, but what about scary movies? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, anyway, that's my my quick look at my 80s. Um, if there are any other more, any other more, any more 80s questions I can answer, uh, put them below. I think I covered everything that I would have any answers for. But um, it's getting really hot in this room, and I hate this makeup and want to get it off my face. So we're going to end this right now, and I will talk to everyone later. Bye!